The bishops are wrapping up their fall meeting in Baltimore. The three day event has been jam packed with high profile votes, including that much anticipated document on the Eucharist. But that wasn't all that happened. They also decided on some other action items, ones you'll want to be a part of. The bishops chose September 5th as Mother Teresa's feast day. That was when the Missionaries of Charity founder died in 1997. The bishops will also be holding a Eucharistic revival project to bring people back to the Blessed Sacrament. The patron for the first year of that campaign, someone well known throughout the Diocese of Brooklyn, Blessed Carlo Acutis. National correspondent for the tablet and crux, John Lavenberg, joined the bishops all week long, and now he's back in Brooklyn on the desk with us. Welcome back. Nice to see you, John. Nice to see you, Christine. Happy to be back. So, John, it's been a marathon for you, but tell us a little more about this special campaign. It's going to end with the National Eucharistic Congress, um, the first in nearly 50 years. So what exactly is it? So this Eucharistic revival is part of the U.S. Bishops 2021 to 2024 strategic plan. It's actually the focus of it. So Bishop Andrew Cousins of St. Paul in Minneapolis, he's the USCCB evangelization chair. He kind of is spearheading this whole process. And so it's going to kick off next June. And from there, it's going to go into diocesan phase. Then in 2023, move into a parish phase where it'll be focused on getting everyday Catholics to really center their faith on the Eucharist. So after 2023, it'll then get to this grand uh, a Eucharistic Congress that you mentioned that it's they hope draws 80,000 to 100,000 Catholics It's going to cost 28 million dollars mm. um, and they think it's going to cap off this Eucharistic revival and carry them into the future. Sounds nice. All right. This comes at a time when the bishops are already in what's called a synodal process, a period of time to gather information in their dioceses and report back to the Pope about big issues on the minds of everyday Catholics. So we've heard this could be a daunting task. Yeah, so the Synod of Bishops, I mean, this, it was talked about at length. It was actually one of the most discussed items, and it was started with a video message from Cardinal Mario Grech, who's the Vatican General Secretary for the Synod. And he told the bishops that when it comes to these listening sessions, don't be afraid to report back to the Vatican in a frank way about what came out of these. And then he also told them, reminded them, you have the Vatican support on the initiatives that you're undertaking. And so from there, Bishop Daniel Flores of Brownsville, who he's kind of spearheading this um, from the USCCB standpoint, he presented on it, told the bishops, that may have fallen behind. You have resources, it's not too late. And then from there, nine bishops got up and spoke about it, what's working, what's not in their dioceses, spoke about other things they can do. And one of them was Cardinal Joseph Tobin of Newark. And what he told them is, remember bishops, let the Holy Spirit guide you through this process. That's nice. They can learn from each other what they're doing. Uh, it was the first time the bishops were in person in two years. So did that kind of play into the energy of this conference? It, it really did. I mean, it was, to put it simply, it was great. I mean, they had a great time being together for the first time in two years. They said, you know, it's not just being together in general assembly. It's also coffee breaks, informal mm -hmm. conversations, mm -hmm. things like that, where they can just catch up with their brother bishops they haven't seen in years and also talk about business and have informal conversations about things that, you know, they say, lead to things getting done and lead to more action taking place. All right, John Lavenberg, National Correspondent for the Tablet and Crux. You've been really busy. Thank you so much for all your reports. Thank you for being here. Happy to be back on the desk. Thank you for watching Currents News on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell. You'll get updates about all of our newest content. And if you see something you like, click the like button and then share it with a friend. I'm Christine Persichetti and we are putting your faith in the news.